You probably already know that there are a lot of page builders out there. Heck, I've bought a few of them myself. But the main problem with most of these page builders is that they are just too complicated and too time consuming to use. And that's after you've managed to get it all set up. They can also cost you an arm and a leg too. And a lot of them charge by the month or the year. Yes, page builders can be a website building lifesaver if you get the one that's right for you. With Easy Page Builder, we wanted to strip back all of the complicated setup and the huge learning curve that's involved with some of these page builders. And we also wanted to strip back the costs for you too. Giving you an affordable, user-friendly page builder that takes just seconds to set up and anyone can master in just a few minutes. But hey, rather than me just telling you about this, let me show you exactly what it does and how simple it is to use too. Okay, so here we are inside of the members area and as you'll soon see everything is very very easy and simple to use. Okay, so the first page you'll come across is this uh, admin welcome area. Okay, um, where you can enter your name and email if you like to get notified of, of updates. But you can also do something else in here. You can also back up your entire site by simply clicking on that link and that will send you to a download where you can back up the entire site um, as it stands. So if you make any changes and you want to, uh, you know, and you made, you made quite a few changes and you want to save them, all you need to do is back up your entire site from that link, okay? Um, admin settings, dead basic. Uh, this is basically where you'll put in your username and password for the website and also enter your full name and contact email address uh, for lost password purposes, okay? So that's just to secure your site there. And the first main setting is this basic design uh, settings, okay? So this is where you can add a custom header, you can change some colors, uh, the page width, uh, or you can choose pixels or percentage, and uh, page paddings. Okay, so, so some basic styling here, uh, font size, and also add in a footer there. And you can also put in your own ClickBank ID, uh, which will affiliate you to Easy Page Builder um, from the Powered By link on the page, um, giving you 50% uh, commissions on all sales made. Now I'll just uh, show you what the, the site looks uh, from dead basic. Okay, so this is the site just being uploaded and this is how it looks um, initially, okay? Uh, so you can see you've got you've got like a kind of basic template uh, with with all of the um, funnel pages within this site. You've got a basic template that you can manipulate however you like. Okay, and I'm just going to show you how easy it is basically. So let's say you wanted to put a custom header onto that page. Okay, so choose custom upload, select your header, um, and that's it done. Okay, so I'm going to select to choose that header to display that header and save my settings. Now I'll go back here and refresh and boom, there you have it. Uh, there's your custom header added to the website. It's that simple. Uh, you can change that as many times as you like. If you want to take it off, just uncheck that box. Uh, now obviously there's a lot more uh, features you can change. If you want to change the background color, for example, let's put in a, a nice blue color for the background color. Click save, go back to the site, refresh, and there we go. It's See, it's that simple. Okay, so that's just the basic uh, design settings, okay? So let's get into the sales page settings, okay? So this is like the main page that will be um, displayed on your site. And now, as um, as with, like I said, all of the, the um, pages that you get in with this uh, site, you get like a basic template that you can manipulate any way you want, or you can just totally change it uh, to your own. 
okay so however you like um, for example it, this this is how easy it is to edit uh, we, we've all used what you see is what you get edit is uh, we've all known them for years and that's basically why we we come across this uh, easy page builder to utilize the what you see is what you get editor again okay uh, and because we know a lot of people wanted the the simplicity of the what you see is what you get editor so that's what we've got here um, and to edit anything it's dead simple it can, could not be any easier just select it um, and either delete it or change the text um, There you go just just type uh, click and type that it's that simple uh, if you want to change any of the images in the site or add any images um, just either select the image or double click on it and let's go to upload let's choose a different image so we'll have that one send that one to the server okay uh, and there we go I've changed the image on that sales page now I'll just save the sales page and show you that so that's I'm um, gonna click view your website here and uh, so let's look at that blue kind of background there and um, there's the the new image that I've just changed and and obviously the the headline which I changed and added this text in here okay so in a couple of seconds I've already changed that page um, all that's left to do um, is to um, add in whatever text or sales page that you want okay and obviously your own link to your buy button so just double click and click on link and add your url and uh, dead simple okay so everything's been added in here for you ready just to simply edit and and it could not be any easier okay so that's the sales page i'm just briefly running through these by the way okay and uh, we're going to more detail in the members area yeah, but that's just, that's a basic sales page. Let's go into uh, opt-in settings now. Okay, again, very very simple. Um, your opt-in page location. So that's basically the URL um, that you'd like your page to be at. So if I click on view opt-in page now, you'll see that um, I've uploaded this at um, example. Okay, in, a, in an example folder. Um, so this one this has added um, opt-in at the end. Okay so um, that's that location there so for example if I wanted to say call this free okay and um, just save that and now if I click view opt-in page again the URL has changed to slash free okay so that gives you a lot more control over the URL and um, that you'd like your page to be at okay so now that's uh, just a basic um, uh, layout of the the opt-in page um, as you can see um, it comes with a, a template already so you can just simply manipulate this just by point and click okay nothing hard again the same as all of the other pages dead easy uh, your opt-in page image if you want to change that just double click and uh, do it like I showed you in the previous image um, uh, if you want to put uh, change the, the text above your opt-in form and text below your opt-in form and uh, again just point and click okay so the the opt-in thanks url again that's optional and um, if you want to have a, a thank you url after they have opted in you can put that in there uh, select your autoresponder so simple drop down menu and um, if you want to choose uh, get response you can if you want to choose aweber if you want to choose any other autoresponder just paste your code in there okay uh, dead simple for example for aweber for example um add in your unique list id um and that's it okay you can put your tracking code in optional uh, if you like um you can also manipulate the input failed placeholder email uh, email failed placeholder and the submit button submit button text okay uh, very very simple and once you've done everything just click save uh, and that's it done okay so that's that up in settings dead simple let's go into um download page settings now so i'm just going to go and view the download page so this is what the the basic download page will look like okay so obviously click there to download uh, the product that you're offering okay and again you definitely want to change the the download location you might want to make this a little bit hard to guess okay so add in some round random numbers or or, or whatever or change the name and then save that 
Now this option here, make more money on your download page by promoting top offers on ClickBank, that's uh, very powerful uh, because what that does is that puts a little advert, a little ClickBank advert at the bottom of your download page which is affiliated to yourself, okay? So I already showed you on the, um, on the, the, the basic design settings you can add in your own ClickBank ID. So that's all you need to do, add in your own ClickBank ID and that gives you um, an additional advert on your download page just by clicking that button. Okay, now again you can edit any aspect of this, um, dead simple, just the same as all the other pages. Click save when you're finished with them. Okay, and so that's that download, so we're now up to affiliate page settings. Okay, so this is the affiliate page location. So I'm just going to click view affiliate page. So that's uh, at slash JV. Again, you can change that to however you want. And this comes with, with all, like all the other ones, with a basic template of a JV page that you can simply uh, manipulate any way you want just by click, clicking and typing. Uh, and then what you see is what you get out of this, okay? Um, any of these images that are used, you would get uh, the PSD source files to those in the members area. So if you want to change those to whatever you want, um, you can, uh, this image here as well, in the members area. Okay, uh, again, that's what the, the affiliates page, the basic affiliates page looks like. And just simply enter your own details in there. Um, it literally could not be any easier. And that's, hence, that, hence the name, Easy Page Builder. Okay, so you've got a, a kind of complete funnel there, okay? You've got your, your sales page, you've got your opt-in page, you've got your download page, you've got your affiliate page. Uh, but if you have any other pages that you want to create, uh, any at all, all you need to do is click add and remove pages and you can add any other pages that you like and you can edit those pages from within here. Just uh, however many pages you want to add, you can add them. Um, just click the drop down and you can edit all of those pages. Again, exactly the same as this. Very, very simple. Your privacy and terms settings. Okay, so you've got your privacy and terms pages already built in there, ready to add in your own privacy and terms. Okay, um, again, dead simple. All you need to do is we we, have, we offer you, um, uh, we've got a link here that uh, will show you um, an excellent um, GDPR um, um, kind of software what creates these pages for you should you need it. But if you have your own um, privacy and terms, then just simply enter them into uh, the fields here. Okay, and then obviously check the box to display them. Uh, finally, I'm just going to um, quickly uh, run over the the SEO CSS script settings. Okay, so it sounds a bit techy, but uh, believe me, it's not. Um, what that does there, that allows you to add in any additional SEO um, or custom uh, style sheet or script settings for any individual page that you want. Okay, so for example, this is the index page, which is the main page, but if you select any other page from the, the drop down menu, that's which page you will um, effectively customize the, um, the the CSS or SEO for that page, okay? Um, now, if you're not sure about this, then you can just leave it. It's not a major thing, um, but it does give you a lot more power to manipulate these pages um, however you want, okay? So for example, if you want to add in a custom uh, page title for SEO, you can just add that in there. If you want to hide a page from search engines, just select that box, okay? Now, that's quite important for download pages, for example. You don't want the, the download pages to be shown in search engines, so um, I would select that from the, the download page, okay? Um, uh, your website description for SEO, your website keywords for SEO, um, any additional custom CSS? Now you can see there's already some custom CSS built into this page here. Uh, you can either edit that if you like. If, if you're not sure about CSS, then just leave it. It's totally fine. But it does give you the option to edit any of this um, custom style sheet um, colors and, and whatever styles um, that may be added for that individual page. And also if you want to add any additional uh, scripts into the head, which, which is like the top of the page or the body, 
the main body of the, the page, you can do that there. Um, and again, that's for any individual page that you have, okay? So hopefully this has given you a little bit more understanding as to just how easy it is to use Easy Page Builder, okay? Point and click dead easy couldn't be any easier whatsoever and you've got all the pages that you need in a complete funnel built into this website all good to go so there you have it guys as you can see we've hidden absolutely nothing and we've done our very best to make this the easiest page builder you'll ever use absolutely everything is point and click simple right now we are offering this for a single one time only payment that not only makes this the easiest page and funnel builder you'll ever use, but also one of the most affordable too. Check out all the details below and grab this right now for a fraction of what it should be.